This is Conversations with the Mulvein Collection. Today we discuss Sun, Sand, and Shadow, an oil on canvas painting dating to the 1920s by American artist Frank Virgil Dudley. Sun, Sand, and Shadow was donated to the Mulvein Art Museum's permanent collection in 1929 by Mrs. Laura Herrick Smith and Mrs. Ruth Herrick Myers in loving memory of their parents. Born in 1868 in Delavan, Wisconsin, Frank Virgil Dudley was a plain air painter and conservationist who is best known for his depictions of the sand dunes in northwest Indiana, which extend along the south end of Lake Michigan. Dudley spent much of his career in Chicago. He had two solo exhibitions at the Art Institute of Chicago in 1902 and 1918. Various conservation groups funded the latter exhibition, the Sand Dunes of Indiana and Vicinity. The exhibition catalog, which accompanied this installation, contained entries from leading conservationists, such as Henry Chandler Coles, a professor at the University of Chicago, who studied the ecological succession in the Indiana Dunes, Stephen T. Mather, then the director of the National Park Services, and the famous landscape architect, Jens Jensen. The catalog also contained a poem written by Chicago-born journalist and poet George E. Bowen, titled Song of the Dunes. Sand land at twilight, all hushed and brooding gray, a place to find your heart again and cast your cares away. Dune land at sunrise, life's glory risen new, the arms of freedom flinging wide, the gates your dreams saw through. Sand land and starlight, the night songs, voices dear, and folds the peace you thought of God, where held your heart its fear. Dune land at noontime, what sorry stuff is gold, that royal pride and miser greed in foolish passion hold. Sand land and shadow were shining in the sun, what care you for the fame of men or what their wars have won for dune land is dearest because no place is there for echoes of the battlefield or scars its victims wear frank virgil dudley established a cottage studio at waverly beach in what is now indiana dunes national park in 1921 around the time he painted sun sand and shadow as indicated in the painting's title, this lively beach scene aptly describes the slant and intensity of afternoon sun on a sandy beach. 